from the 12th to the 16th of March 2019, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat was on at the Sutton Coalfield Town Hall. During this week, a king emerged, a leader like no other, who goes by the name Big George. On the 14th, Bay and Tom Laugh went head to head in an insult battle on the SCMYT WhatsApp group. There were various threats of violence and murder. That was until the King stepped in and dealt with the issues. Big George started to use his power against people. He started to question people's rights. He started to question people. He continued questioning people. And then he started to execute people. George put down a set of rules. One was, anyone who's rude does not have the right to stay in this group. The title for this great king developed over the course of this evening. It went from George to... Go- that, that was Tom Lafferty, wasn't it? To, to Goge, to Gore, and ended on Sir Gingong Bing Bong. He takes his power and he makes a set of rules. Number one, no swearing. Number two, whoever is main character of the show is the leader. I instantly recognise something good is happening here because we're doing Joseph and I was playing Joseph. And uh, it seems that some of the people didn't like this rule. As you see here, I've got full support from our, from our King George. I like Ben. Exactly. I like Ben as well. The third rule, do not be racist, sexist or homophobic. Upon realising people weren't taking him seriously, King George steps in and he makes his announcement. If you're caught swearing, you shall no longer be admin. I mean, literally, the, ne- the next comment, some- someone swore. So guess what happened to them? Not an admin anymore. George starts to explain the fact that people who swear lose their admin ranks. Didst thou here? King Googe has decreed to remove us of thine administration rights if offender is caught using words off the devil's tongue. Even people like Big Bay Brian lost their rights. King George began cracking down. He ruled through both fear and love. But I, <laughs> that sounds so weird. By that I mean everybody loved King George. Everyone bowed before him. The following clips are proof that Sir Ging Gong Bing Bong is our true leader. Yeah, that's really we bad just ran King Ging Gong Bing oh, Bong down. James is where? Come here, come here. Guys, get ready, get ready, get ready. So, bow, bow. Fat man flies at midnight. Yo! Yo! Sorry, sorry. Joseph! Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? What's the problem? You're surrounded now, George. That wasn't You're me! You're surrounded now! I'm getting attacked! You're surrounded now! <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to... A shoe! Boxing's coming out! Boys, do you know what this reminds me of? <laughs> 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 <laughs the assassination of Julius no, Caesar. Know. <laughs> you, know, you know when his friends all surrounded him. Joe, isn't that a bit Are you hinting at Joe, isn't that a bit Anyone want to buy a shoe? Everyone oh, just close in. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 oh, my hand. Yo, YouTube. What's up? It's George. I'm Quinn J.R. Someone's going to drop him down. What is happening on me? Yeah. He can't get up. Where's George? It's George's turn. No. <laughs> <laughs> Long live the king! Big boy! I'm surrounded! Surround! 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 Nine words so far. This is the award for the greatest man who ever lived ever. <laughs> is that George? Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's most righteous that 
honourable <laughs> nobleman, His Royal Shush. Highness King Sir Big Man George the Brave, <laughs> MBE, OBE, PhD, bronze swimming certificate, silver certificate. Bronze swimming certificate. I'm in which I'd like to read out. Oh, oh, so, bronze. Oh, to George. Okay. <laughs> when in disgrace with fortune and George's eyes. I all alone beweep my Georgeless days, <laughs> and trouble deaf George with my bootless cries, and look upon George and curse my state. <laughs> Wishing me to George more rich in hope, featured like George, like George with friends possessed, desiring George's art and George's scope, with what George's most enjoy contended last. Yet in these thoughts, George almost despising, Happily I think of George, and then my George, like George, at break of day arising, and sullen George, sing hymns at George's gate. For George's sweet love remembered such wealth brings, that I am sworn to change my George for King. Woo!